Yo. Good morning. I just did laundry. <laughs> and somebody left a quarter in their pocket. And that quarter was the cleanest quarter I've ever done, so... Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good afternoon, hope you guys are doing well today. It is Sunday, March 31st, 1014 a.m. It is Easter Sunday, but... I don't celebrate, and I kind of wanted to play Pokemon, because today we're going to be focusing on leveling. So it's going to be a very grindy stream today. Also, this is... It looks so much worse on camera. <laughs> I think it's because my ring lights are so bright. <laughs> Whenever I look at my viewfinder, I'm like, oh my god. Okay. So, I think we could just get into it. I didn't really do anything last night. I played, I played Supermarket Simulator, and then I hung out with my sister, and we watched cat videos. <laughs> that was my day yesterday. Also, new YouTube video. Go watch it. Go like it. Go leave a comment. What is my love language? I took quizzes, and I get very deep and personal. I'm wearing, like, the most Easter thing I could find, which to me is just floral, because spring means floral. Pink scrunchie today. Okay. Peace lock. Day 10. Everybody say hi, YouTube. You know the drill? Okay, I gotta remember what I did yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah. We leveled up. We beat the fifth gym or fourth gym. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay. So, peace lock. Day 10. Wait. That's, that's the wrong phrasing. Okay. It is day 10 of the Peace Lock 2024, and today we're going to be leveling up like crazy. Last time on day 9, we defeated the fourth gym, Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy, my Gyarados Magikarp sweep, everybody. But the next gym is Norman. I have to defeat my father. And the only hint we had was that he likes strong Pokemon. So it's not super clear what the Pokemon type is for this gym. All I know is that his highest level Pokemon is 31, and that he has a slacking. Because that was in the anime, so that for sure is on his team. So I think the plan for today is leveling up as many Pokemon as I can. I'm not going to lie, whenever I play Pokemon normally, I like to get all my Pokemon to the same level. So, like if I have 50 Pokemon, I'll get them all to level 10, and then I'll get them all to level 20. That's just how I play, so I kind of want to try that today. So it's going to be very lovely, very chill stream today also pin chat tomorrow i'm doing a planned stream and i need content for tomorrow's stream so click the pin chat i need replies to that twitter post tomorrow's a very serious stream yes it's on april fools but that does not mean it's a joke okay i think i'm ready to go 62 hours. <laughs> Dude, I cannot get over the live split. It's so funny. <laughs> but you know what? Look, look, look. I got four gym leaders on the board now. Okay, let's freaking play the game. Dude, 62 hours. On this attempt, though, only 30... Only 37 hours. Timer has begun. Okay. What? My buttons were frozen on my GBA. Okay. So, I think... I kind of want to do the strat just let... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I remember we got the sand goggles from Brendan. And that was in the desert areas, which were by the mountains. So, actually, let's go check those out first. I need to... Double check who's in my party. Yeah, I got Bruh, Magikarp, Wicked, Blaziken, Snazzy. So I think I want to get all as many Pokemon as I can today to level 25 just for fun. Because the nor I wrote down all the levels of the gym leaders. I didn't look up what Pokemon types or actual Pokemon they had. I just wrote down the levels. So Norman has level 27 to 31. So that means my Pokemon have to be level no higher than level 31. Which... A lot of my Pokemon are higher than 31. 
So I think I want to get majority of my Pokemon to level 25 just for funsies today. And like kind of figure out which Pokemon I want to use for the gym. Because I need like a more versatile team this time. Since I don't know going into it what to expect. So Wicked is at 25, Graveler's 29, 28. I kind of want to get, well he said powerful Pokemon so it's been playing fighting so probably Psychic is going to be good. Maybe Skarmory. Yeah, Seedot still has the XP share, so I gotta take it off of him before I remove him. Okay, because I need to have Pokemon that I can use to catch, because we're going to the desert area. Maybe I should grab my Swablu again. But the Pokemon in that area are probably gonna be, like, level 20. Yeah, I think I'll swap out my Seedot for the Swablu, that way I can put Pokemon to sleep. And we'll give Scar the XP share. Yeah, that sounds good. Review, Grub Party Leader, Magikarp, Blaziken, Snazzy Fire Item Pickups, Bluey to put Pokemon to sleep, and leveling up Scar in the background. Like I said, I want to get as many Pokemon as I can to level 25, just so I can. Because I know whenever we get to the Elite Four, I'm going to have to level up to like level 50 or 60, I think. So it's going to be a long... Oh my god, I'm back here. I can't go this way, I have to go back on the boat. It's going to be a long time. To level up to get that high so might as well kind of get started down let's get out of here Late port. Because another one of like my long term goals is to get my friendship level for every single Pokemon I have to max. Because I love Pokemon. Man, those beach battles are so frustrating. Regular Pokeballs, eight Great Balls, five Nest. I'm gonna buy more Great Balls. Because I assume there's gonna be like probably six to eight new Pokemon I can catch today in the desert.
We continue on. Oops! No! <laughs> Even though that's the practice gym. Okay, to get to the desert, I gotta go up and around town. The grandma's juking me. I should buy more paralysis heals as well before I forget. Pokemon and Zulub are pretty high H or XP too as well. I gotta find the best place to level up. And we're out. <gasps> Berries are done. I'm gonna buy like three of every status heal because I always forget to buy them. It would be nice if in the story it would tell you like how much you currently have in your inventory, but that'd be that'd be too easy. To the desert. Maybe okay. Since I'm here, I'm gonna go swap on my bike. <laughs> For the more technical one, I think. We got the mock bike. Wait, no. Acro bike. What? Oh, yeah, acrobatic. Okay. Wheelies. So press the B button. Bunny hops. Keeping the B button pressed, your bike can hop on the spot. Press the B button and control pad at the same time to jump. Wait, what? Wait, I need to double check my GBA.
What's like the center button do though? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, press B in the control pad at the same time to jump. Press the control pad to the side to jump sideways. Okay, well, I'll try. Press the B button and the- at the same time, you don't hold it. Okay, okay. Oh my god. This is crazy! Okay, okay. And then you're riding. When you're riding... I don't know how you get when you hop a new ride, anyway. To the desert. Oh, the bike is so much faster. <laughs> I'll use the bike from now on. desert we're in wait where even am I route 111 okay Mirage Tower. <gasps> Finally, a Sandro. Level twenty. Um. Magikarp has Bite and Dragon Rage. Blaziken is too, way too strong. Surely Bluey won't die? Surely? Yeah, Bluey's fine. Okay, little bro can stop scratching. Like, come on. <laughs> um, okay, Bluey's way too low level then. Hmm. Hmm. Magikarp. The Bluey strat is not gonna work. Okay, attack down, defense up. Oh, attack! I mean, tackle. I don't need Bluey. I don't know why I clicked Pokemon. Poison sting? That's kind of crazy. Nest ball. Easy. 
Lindsay Sandra was caught the first Pokemon of the day. Sandrew, Mouse Pokemon. When it curls up in a ball, it can make any attack bounce off harmlessly. Its hide has turned tough and solid as a result of living in the desert. Sand... Dude, the sprite looks horrible. <laughs> San... Sandy. Everybody, welcome Sandy to the team. Okay, so I guess in this new area, I should make Magikarp my party leader. Because we're probably going to run into a bunch of new Pokemon here. Watch this. Yep. I <laughs> can bunny up now. Oh yeah, nothing else on the floor besides encounters. He's so cute! Holy moly! Mirage Tower level 2. Dead end. Cool. I saw Crocs in the ground. Another Sand Shrew. Level 21. So we're probably gonna be focusing on leveling up here in the desert area, unless there's an area past here. It's still there, okay. <laughs> Imagine. Or maybe the bike was too heavy. Another sand shroom. Maybe I'm not supposed to be here yet. In this game or not, you can ride Pokemon. If you can ride a bike, I think you can ride a Pokemon. Too bad I don't have a Charizard, right? That's gotta be the only way. Hmm. I think I'll come back here later. I wanna see what other Pokemon I can catch. Oh, there's so many encounters here. Okay. Hi, Natty. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. 
What are we doing well today? Blaziken party leader. Easy peasy. Bluey, kind of an L, honestly. I go Bobo. Can we get some more yos? Hello. Watch this. I shouldn't have come to a place like this for a picnic. I'm gonna beat them first try. Picnicker Cecilia would like to battle. Or Celia. Level 22 Meryl. Surely Blaziken won't die, right? Okay, saved. <laughs> Scar grew to level 17, my favorite number. Pignamer Celia is about to use a Lombre. Will I change out? No. Blaziken's my tank. Also, guys, pin chat, reply to that tweet pinned at top of chat. I need it for tomorrow's stream. Yup. You defeated Picnic or Celia? I really shouldn't have come. You got 352 Poké Dollars for winning. Hi, Drew. Can we get some yos? Hello. What's tomorrow's stream? Look at the tweet! Serious stream. Uh-oh. Another sand shroom. Level 19. Is ground strong against fire? I can't remember. Ground is neither strong nor weak against fire. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep Blaziken in for fights and then Magikarp for capturing Pokemon. So I'm gonna do all the encounters here first as usual. Oh, there's two guys. How tough are you? We shall expose that secret. Okay, why is the playground man using the word expose? Ruin Maniac Brian would like to battle. I don't think you can use that word anymore, Nintendo. Not the Twitch tips? Yeah, it's for a bit. I mean, a serious stream tomorrow. It's on April Fools? I know, bad timing, right? Yep. Ruin Minion Brian is about to use Sand Slash. Will I change? No. Man, Sand Slash looks so cool. I can't wait till mine evolves. Is Sand Slash fighting? No, it's not. Eh, silly. The sandstorm does a lot of damage, surprisingly. You defeated Ruin Maniac Brian. Oh, your strength! It is shrouded in mystery. You got 1,320 Poké Dollars for winning. Oh! You caught me! I'll give you some of my sandwich if you lose. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that sounds pretty good. Camper Brendan would like to battle. Brendan? 
Oh, that was Brando. It had an A. I think fighting was strong against flying, or it's weak. One of the two. Oh, I guess it's weak. No, it's not. It's not- wait, I don't remember. Scargrew to level 18, let's go! Camper Brandon is- Brand- wait. Camper Brandon is about to use Nuzleaf. Will I change? No. The Nuzleaf that evaded me all day yesterday. You defeated Camper Brandon. Huh! I thought a sandwich would be a good enough of a bribe. You got 352 Bogo dollars for winning. Oop. New Pokemon. A Tra Pinch, level 21. Magikarp, you're in. No! Stop! <laughs> um... Blaziken? <laughs> okay, maybe I should make Magikarp the party leader. Um... Uh... <laughs> Blaziken, don't kill! He listened! Pokeball time. Easy Trap Inch was caught. Our second Pokemon of the day. Trap Inch, Ant Pit Pokemon. Its big jaws crunch through boulders. Because its head is so big, it has a hard time getting back upright if it tips over onto its back. Trap. Oh, the sprite is pink. Gage. Trap Inch. Travis. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done like a normal name. Everybody, welcome Travis to the team. <laughs> Travis. Travis. Peace and hi there. This is Cindy. Listen, listen, you have to hear this. I had a Pokemon battle earlier, but I lost it the last second. Oh, it burns me up. Uh, just get good, Scrub. This area is huge. Secreto. You found one TM37 Sandstorm. KS Esso. I'm back, Twitch glitched out for a second. Classic Twitch move. Unless it was my stream, then classic piece of move.
Level 19. We saw this in the Book Apart game. Wait, do I have a ball toy? Ad check. I don't think I have a ball toy. Oh, wait, no, I'm thinking because I saw it in a battle once at the gym, I think. Magikarp, do not kill. <laughs> Stop. Pokeball time. Easy. Battle toy was caught. Battle toy, clay doll Pokemon. A ball toy moves by spinning on its single foot. It has been depicted in murals adorning the walls of a once bustling city in an ancient age. Our third Pokemon. I love catching new Pokemon. I swear it's the best part of the game. Ball toy. Baldwin. <laughs> Or maybe Troy, but there's no R sound. I like Baldwin. How do you spell Baldwin? Is it... Okay, I know this is not right, but this, like, makes the most sense. You know what I mean? Baldwin? That... <laughs> I don't... Whatever. Everybody, welcome Baldwin to the team! Hmm, I own Secreto, a key. I think that's right. Is it because, like, Baldwin is a last name, not a first name? I think that could be why I'm, like, getting it mixed up in my head. Using sand attack at the desert, how typical. I thought I ran into somebody. Another sand true level 21. The sandstorm is so annoying. Come on! Look. 
You know what? Screw this. I'm running away. I'm annoyed. Okay, I'm gonna go for the next battle. I heard there were fossils to be found in the desert. Where could they be? Picnic or Becky would like to battle. They sent out Sandshrew. Blade skin grew to level 37. Picnic or Becky's about to use Meryl while I change Pokemon. Sure, let's try Magikarp. Rollout could have been bad. But I think water's strong against rollout anyway. Easy. You defeated Picnic or Becky. I came up short. You got 352 Poké Dollars for winning. The music in this area is so happy. <laughs> it's like kind of off putting. Okay, let's fight this guy. For 30 years I've searched for ancient ruins. I am to be challenged? Yeah. Little twerp like me is gonna beat your ass. Ruin maniac Dusty would like to battle. He sent out Sand Slash. Wait, was Sandslash like... <laughs> what was he doing? <laughs> you defeated Ruin Maniac Dusty. While I've searched for ruins, I've not searched for strong Pokemon. You got 1,380 Poké Dollars for winning. I haven't been searching for any tough Pokemon, but for some reason, I sure do like Pokenavs. Thank you for your phone number, sir. Another Torpinch, or Trapinch. I must said Torchic. <laughs> Scarver to level 19, let's go. One more level and then we'll swap him out.
There's lots of battles here. <laughs> I see it! The Tower of Sand! The scent tower that called the Mirage is clearly visible. But it looks so fragile. It could crumble away any time. I want to go inside it, but I can't get my courage up for it. Sir, it's not that bad. All I did was fall in a pit and die. Sandshrew, level 20. Supposed to be the goat please again. Maybe he's tired. Or the sand got in his eyes. Oh my god! Yeah, that one hit. on one stardust. <gasps> Cacnea! Magikarp, you're in. I think Cacnea is grass slash poison. Oop. Cagnia special attack rose. Pokeball time. Easy! Cagnia was caught. Cagnia, cactus Pokemon. Cacnea live in deserts with virtually no rainfall. It battles by swinging its thick, spiked arms. Once a year, a yellow flower blooms. Cacnea. I'm thinking Casey. Because I think it evolves into Cacturn. Yeah, I kind of like Casey. Welcome, Casey, to the team. I'm having a picnic in the desert. You can always find a trainer so I can enjoy a battle here, too. would like to battle. They sent out Sandra, level 22. Picknicker Heidi is about to use Balto. Will I change? No. Because Balto, I think, is ground psychic. Or Rock Psychic, maybe. I 
Oh, it is psychic, because fighting is not strong against psychic. I was right. You defeated Picnic or Heidi? Oh, well, you're mean. <laughs> you got 350 to Bogo Dollars for winning. Wearing these go goggles makes me feel like a superhero. Right now, nobody can beat me. Except for me. Peace in. Camper Bo would like to battle. They sent out Boltoy. Level 21. Camper Bo is about to use Sandshrew. Camper Bow is about to use Ball Toy. I will not change. Easy. You defeated Camper Bow. I can't one. I can't win on spirit alone. You got 336 Poké Dollars for winning. You know who else is gonna be hashtag winning? The subs, cause guys, we are an hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing. For $4.99, just $5, skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free or prime. So over here, click subscribe, see if you have a sub available. Also, it is the last day of March. So if you want a sketch card, make sure you gift a total of five subs for the whole month by the end of stream today. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. I think the music in this area is the best. It's so high. I'm a sucker for jolly tunes. We continue on. Another trap inch. Imagine like a Rayquaza can spawn. That'd go crazy. I can't even take one step. I'm going to change Blaziken's order move set. There you go. Just so I don't gotta press an extra time. I'll heal Blaziken if we have one more battle. Oh! It's the opposite end of the desert. I was wondering why that area was so huge. Okay, I got it now. Okay, watch this. Come on, let me 
let me go! God, please. I hate this stupid bike. Oh. You do not see me, sir. Oh, hey. Those go goggles suit you. But I think they look better on me. Let's decide who they look better on with a battle. Camper Drew would like to battle. Sandshrew, level 23. Scarker to level 20. Let's go. You defeated Camper Drew. I couldn't see what was happening on my sides because of my go goggles. You got 368 Poké Dollars for winning. Is total? Oh yeah, that's the entire desert. Okay. When I was little, I thought the Pokémon's name was Sandrew. I mean, it's kind of close. I should have named my Sandrew Sandrew. That would have made sense. Dang it. What I, I named it Sandy. <laughs> Which I guess it is pretty sandy. Okay, so I guess that's the desert area. Check the map. Marville City. Route one eighteen. Did it go further? I can't remember. Okay, I'm gonna see if there's any more Pokemon here. And either way, we gotta swap out Scar to level up a different one. So this was Route 111, I think? Yeah, Trompinch, Sandshrew, Baltoy, and Capnio. I got them all. This walkthrough says Trompinch is actually a good Pokemon to keep. And then in the Mirage Tower, there's Trompinch and Sandshrew. Okay, so I guess I caught everything in this desert area. I'll try the tower one more time. Wait, watch this. Jump. Wait, I want to try something. Watch this. I can't bunny hop over the rocks. I thought that would work. I should level up in the tower because there's no sandstorm and it's the same amount of XP. 
Yeah, we'll level up in the tower. Watch this. <laughs> Come on. That was scary. One hundred fifty two XP, holy. Maybe if I run across? Nope. Okay, I'm probably just not supposed to go there right now. Hmm. I'm gonna go see... If... Alright, so I'm gonna go back to the main city to heal, because I've gotten everything I can of the desert, so no new Pokemon there. It said to get to the next city, it's Route 118, but I probably am not supposed to go there now, but I'll see if I can. Oh, maybe this place is open, the training gym? This is the trainer hill where you may enjoy tag battles with many trainers. Unfortunately, we're still getting things ready. Please come back later. Okay, fine. But at least there's a Pokemon Center there. I think this was what I saw from the top of the desert. Yeah, that is what I saw earlier. Okay. Figured. Yeah, Route 118. Mm 
So the only way I can progress is if I have serve, but you probably get that at Norman's Gemma. Huh, well, I guess I'm stunlocked then. To stare at the ocean. And I guess just level up. So, I have to decide what Pokemon I'm going to bring to Norman's Gym. And Norman's highest level is 31, so I gotta get them to 31. So first I need to decide which Pokemon I want to bring, and then level them up. Right now, Magikarp is 29, Kadabra 35, Blaziken 37. These two are so overleveled. Okay, so that means I have Firefighting, Psychic, Water, Dragon. So I probably should bring a grass. Maybe a grass type and a poison type. Let's see what Torko has. I just want to see. We have curse. I already got Aaron to level twenty one. See, so we got steel, normal. And they got 58 HP. Maybe I'll, since I already have Aaron, like, fairly high, maybe I'll bring Aaron back on. And then I said I wanted a grass type. Maybe Lombre too, because Lombre is grass and water. They have a ghost and a grass move. Skarmor is steel and flying. They have Peck, Swift, and Agility. Or wait, maybe swap out Aaron because Skarmory is already a metal type or a steel type. Maybe Lombrin. Let's see, right now I got Water, Dragon, Psychic, Fire, Fighting, Steel, Grass, Water. Oh yeah, and then I have other Pokemon. And I have Tentacool, Graveler, and then I should probably bring Graveler as well. Okay. So to Norman's fight, I'll bring Gyarados, Kadabra, Blaziken, Graveler, Skarmory, and Lombre. So for now, I'm going to focus on leveling up all of them to probably 20... I'll do 28, because these guys are already high enough level. So, time to level like crazy. And to level, the best XP is in the Mirage Tower. Because there's no areas I can access for now. So everybody get cozy. I actually have a blanket today. It's mainly because I sit crisscross in my chair. So my left thigh has like this indent from my chair. <laughs> So whenever I use a blanket, like, it lowers the size of the indent at the end of the day. Wait, what the hell? Where's the tower? 
It's gone. What the? What in tarnation? It can be here sometimes and then it's not. Oh, really? Fatal sticks. Well, I guess we're grinded in the desert then. Dang it. Ethan, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? How many gems? Dude, it's on screen! You ask this every time. It's literally on screen. <laughs> I hope you're doing well, man. Right now I'm getting ready for Norman so I can fight my father. like does a lot of damage and sometimes it doesn't I don't understand no antiendo dude the sandstorm is so annoying Cooked by a stupid Sandshrew. My goodness. I'm debating if I want to go heal, because I don't want to keep leveling up Brown Blaze again. Oh, I should probably. S yeah, I'll swap out Bruh. For Graveler. It's me, Ethan. I'd like to climb other mountains than this one, to be honest. But I'm not sure if there'd be any ladies. Wait, what? <laughs> but I'm not sure if there'd be any ladies, like, on Mount Chimney. If you know any other mountain with ladies around, let me know. <laughs> See you around. Ew, Ethan is a playground man. Ew.
Yeah, I just can't get Cell and Magikarp over level 31. Okay, I continue on. Now surely Graveler will be immune to the sandstorm. Sandshrew is ground, so rock throw does damage, I believe. But I missed. <laughs> Me, that's huge. Oh, I guess we're just gonna be poking at each other then. Poison is not strong against rock or ground. <laughs> okay, maybe I won't level with... Uh... <laughs> Scarger to level 21. Let's go. Who knew something so cute could be so annoying? Dragon Rage because I'm so angry. I think I'll save the Dragon Rages for the Sand Trues, because their fights are legit the most annoying. 
easy. You know what else is super easy? Following the channel, because guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you never click that follow button, you get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? Magikarp grew to level 30. One more level, and then it's max for the gym. Magikarp is trying to learn Leer. Leer frightens the foe with the Leer to lower defense. I don't want that. Oh, wait! I have Splash! I don't need Splash! Yeah, I still have Splash! <laughs> Okay, I'll swap it up for Splash. Oh my god, I was through. Magikarp forgot Splash and learn Leer. Yeah, Drake. Oh! My God. I thought he was gonna take me with him, holy moly. Instead of going back to the Poké Center every time, I'll just... Whenever Blaziken and Magikarp get low, we'll go to the Poké Center. Because Blaziken is gonna be OP anyway. I don't know why I wasn't using the bike sooner. It's so much faster. <laughs> Who knew that biking is faster than running?
Okay, as long as I murk the Pokemon on the first turn, then I don't get buffered by the Sandstorm. My goal with this playthrough, by the end of the... the guest 120 hours, I want Blaziken to be level 99. That'd be so sick. So many ball toys now. Maybe Cacnea is rare? I guess I'm lucky I got it earlier. I'm just now realizing, if Norman has the same Pokemon he did in the anime, he had a slack off slacking in the middle evolution. Those are all normal. And fighting is strong against normal. Blaziken grew to level 38, let's go! So... I don't think he would have the same lineup as the show. I think that'd be kind of silly. I don't know, the clue saying he wants strong Pokemon is so weird. I don't know, I still think the best strat is to like... Have a more versatile team... That has different types. Hmm. No saying.
Scarfer to level 22. Let's go. We continue on. I want to get Scar and then A to 25. So it'll be a hot minute. Uh-oh. Finally, another Pokemon got a hit on me. Uh-oh. Easy. Worth the same XP as a sand true. Another cadmia.
Bro. Sand shoes are a menace. Thank you! Finally a hit! Let's get out of you. Let's see. I want to see what move Scar has. They have Flying Peck. Swift Normal. I might try fighting with, with Scar. Hi, Electra. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. Yeah, I'll see how well- because I'm not sure how well steel is against ground types. I can never remember. <laughs> Blaze fire, I can- <laughs> yeah. Hello, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hi, Cosmic. my back. Let's see how well Scar fights. Your normal doesn't work on ground. Oh, poison doesn't affect steel, yo. Okay. It's actually huge learning that the steel is immune to poison. So I guess for now we can fight with Scar. Until they run out of HP.
Faint is either psychic or normal. Scar is finally getting some action. Now, Baltoy is psychic ground. Does psychic even affect? Okay, normal does still work. Mudslap doesn't affect Scar. Mudslap... Gotta be ground. Oh yeah, the Sandstorm isn't affecting Scar either. Huh. Huge. I'm learning! The only bad thing is that Skarmory's attack don't have a lot of PP. Okay, dark type is not strong, or dark type is weak against steel. Man, two crits in one fight? That's crazy. Skarmory is pretty cool. Scar grew to level 23. 
two more and then it's ready for the gym. Hey, grew to level 17, my favorite number. Hey. Hi, Mac. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Just got home from work? Nice! Was it crazy quality? Was everybody buying all the Easter eggs? <laughs> oh my god! The self-destruct is so scary! There's like no warning! Jesus Christ! It was busy in the morning and chilled out in the afternoon? No, for real. Like, during any holiday. It's always super busy. Because everybody's buying, like, the trays, last minute groceries. But since I only worked food, holidays were always really slow. Because who would want to get Subway on a holiday? A lot of people didn't go to church, clearly. <gasps> they should be punished. I could go for Subway right now, not gonna lie. Dude, Subway is so good, but it's so bad for you. Or any processed meat is not good for you. But Subway in particular has a boatload of sodium. Boatload of sugar, too. And I had that shit every day for almost three years. But that was when I was my skinniest. But that's because, like, I was working too much. Not because I was eating healthy... Wait, Mac, if you haven't already replied to my newest tweet, I need- I need farmers. I laughed so hard when I saw it. It's real! What are you talking about? It's not meant to be funny. <laughs> I can't- I can't not smile. <laughs> Even if- okay, you guys can read between the lines, but I still need- I still need questions for tomorrow's stream. <laughs> I also have, like, graphics prepared for if I don't get any questions which I think is also kind of funnier, but... <laughs> like, you know how when you watch, like, a sponsored stream, and they'll pull messages from, like, the live chat, and it's, like, really nice, positive things? Like, if you ever see, like, a Twitch Rivals event, they'll pull up, like, chat messages, and it'll just be, like, username with, like, three lol emotes. Oh, he bit me!
Whenever I see A's name, it's so obnoxious. <laughs> One of my biggest insecurities is like wearing the same clothes over and over again on stream. I've tried to wear a different shirt for every day of the peace lock, and I think I wore this shirt before. I wore it because like Easter, it's floral, but I think I've worn this one already. <laughs> I don't want to look like a cartoon character with the same fit every day. But then it's also like, who would notice that? Who would notice them wearing the same shirt once every other week? You know what I mean? I think more it's more of a you problem than a me problem. You know what is a problem for some of you guys? Watching ads. Because you know what? We're two hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that by subscribing. For four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or if you link Amazon Prime to Twitch, you can subscribe for free with a Twitch Prime sub. Isn't that crazy? Click subscribe over here. See if you got a sub available. And then, if you're new here, click follow. Can we hit our daily goal of five followers on a holiday? Imagine. It'd be a good bit if you wore the same outfit for a whole week. That would be a good bit. I mean, I, I do my hair the same all the time. You know, ponytail's easy. But, okay, if if I were to com commit to that bit, I'd have to buy, like, multiple the same shirt. I'm not doing, like, laundry every day. I'm not, like, that aggro. Even though I, I do laundry, like, every other day now, just for towels. Blaziken, you're in. What if I bought, like, five minion shirts? <laughs> I wore a minion shirt. Yellow scrunchie. Wait. I could... Oh, I only have one pair of overalls, though. I think a really funny bit would be, like, to wear a wig and, like, pretend it's my hair. But it's like, it's obvious that it's a wig. But then it's like, why would I do that bit? It'd be a good one-off gag, but then it's like, why? I have like so many like ideas for like stupid bits. But I, I don't want to do things just to be silly. Like, GBA, this one makes sense. Like, I'm not going to be whipping out my GBA for like a Mario Kart stream. Wait, I missed both my attacks? What the hell? Another cat? Yeah.
I don't think I would ever dye my hair. Like, for a stream incentive. There's too much permanence in it. Like, I know people will shave their head, dye their hair crazy colors when they had certain sub goals, but... Not for me. You could do temp hair dye? Ah, even that's too much. My reputation's on the line. I don't want to be a woke lib with blue hair. Not even for one day. The only, like, hair dye that I would consider is an ombre, but I don't know what color. It's because when I was in, like, high school, middle school, ombres were in. Everybody had ombre hair, ombre clothes, ombre dresses for prom. I think they're cringe now, but I don't know. That was, like, almost ten years ago. Oh my god, almost ten years ago. I had honey blonde highlights at some point. I think highlights are cool. They kind of look like Barbie hair. Because I feel like a lot of like Barbie dolls and Bratz dolls, like, they all had highlights. I should have learned how to, like, cut hair. I should have been a cosmetologist. I feel like I'd be really good at it. Like, imagine me cutting your hair, I'm raising you up, and then I make you look fabulous. For an Uno stream, can you wear one of those green visor hats? <laughs> that would be a funny gag. <laughs> that would be a good gag. Yeah, we can do that. Wait, but no gambling! Well, I'll write that down. That's actually funny. At my local grocery store, they have like a whole hat section. And I think they, they have like cowboy hats, they got caps. I'm trying to think where I could find a visor. See, no wearing visor. Yeah, but it's silly. It would be funny. The only the only bad thing about playing Uno with viewers on stream is that you guys would see my deck and then you would like hear me commentating my game plan. So then you guys would have to like ethically like mute the stream and not watch, but then I lose viewers. So it's a lose lose. <laughs> you can block it out for sure, but then that ruins it for like the people like who aren't playing. I don't know. Wait, what am I doing? Double click. I think everybody would just have to cross their fingers. And like promise they won't cheat. No, but not gonna lie. <laughs> if I was the person watching, I would have the stream open and cheat. During the Among Us era, I was never one of the chatters who would like stream hop and type in chat and like spoil who the imposter was. But like, I got really close to being one of those chatters. I was such a little shithead three years ago.
I think this part of the map has the best music in game. It's so high. I don't like when the adults call me in game, it creeps me out. There should be an option for me to like hang up. I do think, like, talking with people on the phone is the most effective way to communicate, because emailing sucks, texting is alright, and it's so much, like, easier to tell what people are saying and what they mean when they're on the phone, but I hate it. It's because whenever I talk on the phone with anybody, I turn on, like, my, my super nice mode. Like, if I gotta make an appointment or be on hold and I get to speak to somebody, I use, like, my customer service voice. And I feel so fake. But I can't help it. I hate emailing. I kind of like emailing because then you have like a paper trail of everything you say. But then, similar problem. <laughs> I'm such a dryhard. I'll, so, I'll try so hard to like make myself sound professional. Also, talking about emailing, I still haven't gotten an email back from that design studio. So, do you think they're still going to hire me? That was from, like, January. I was gonna email them, like, last month and be like, Hey, actually, I have another job opportunity lined up, which is a lie. I'm just gonna say that I'm editing for a, a private company, which is me. <laughs> but then I'm like, it's kind of too late to follow up. It's been two months. So I don't know. But even if I did get the offer, I probably wouldn't take it, you know. Since January I've been streaming more and I haven't I've been having a lot more fun. And my YouTube channel, it's not obviously not monetized. But both channels are getting more and more views every month, which is really good. I don't want to lose whatever momentum I might get this year. Cuz you know, this year 2024 is going to be my year. Mhm. Mm Scar grew to level 24, one more level, and it's ready for the gym. An online escape room could be fire? No, I- 
I am never doing an escape room on stream for a pre fin video or in real life. I'm so bad at puzzles. Like, I'll watch, like, videos of people doing an escape room, and I'm like, how do they figure it out? I- I'm never doing it. I'm only doing it if I have a buddy. And it- Dude, it would give me so much anxiety, too. Cause, like, but it'd be funny. Says you. I'm not doing it. That's my line. I'll do anything but an escape room. <laughs> I think the reason why I think an escape room would kind of freak me out is anytime I'm in a thank god anytime I'm in a scenario where like it's kind of like triggering your fight or flight it really like I get into it I told y'all, I could not play... Oh, what's the game called? Lethal Company? I played it for like an hour, and I got sick. Because like, the perspective of the camera, and then like, it was just so anxiety-inducing. Where like, I felt it. It was horrible. That's why like, I... I can't play realistic horror games. I think the only horror games I've played on stream are like pixel ones. But that's because when I look at the screen, I'm like, oh, it's a pixel. It's a red dot for blood. But the actual horror games, like, I can watch people play it. But if I'm actively playing it, it's too real. It's too real. Because, like, I don't have too high of an imagination in general. But... If I've seen something happen, I can always insert myself into that situation. Like, I have a lot of anxiety being in the car. Mainly because, like, I've seen car accidents. I've had family members be in accidents, so, like, I've, I, I know what it's like. So, like, as I'm in the car, like, in the backseat, I'm picturing us, like, the car toppling and flying. And I, I can't, like, unthink it. Mini golf, mini golf would be fun. I really want to go... I think the last time I went mini golfing was when I was like in middle school, and we went to the one at the mall with my friends, my friend, and then her mom. And it was like this neon themed golf course. You should do a mini IRL for your birthday. I would like to do a mini IRL segment, but I have no friend to film. All my friends, you know, got jobs. <clears throat> oh, you mean like just go and hang out with your friends normally? <laughs> of course I do that. <laughs> I am a shut-in, but I do hang out with a friend. Or friends. <laughs> and now that I can donate plasma again, I'll have money! I'll be up like... Because from plasma, if you donate multiple times throughout the week, I can get up to like four to five hundred a month. It's pretty sick. You know, that'll be student loan money, and then also bubble tea money. My sister and I are planning to go to the zoo. Bef it's either before or after my birthday. We gotta figure out when everybody's free. It's really cute because my sister, she's really into cats, so like whenever I go downstairs, she's watching like cat video videos on YouTube. But now she's just like into animals. So she, like her YouTube recommended is filled with like animal videos. Like yesterday I was watching like a little platypus video with an octopus video with her yesterday.
for all those nature docs, I genuinely wonder, like, how long it takes to get all that footage. Like, are they camping outside for, like, eight hours a day? Because filling an hour dock of just animal footage probably takes, like, months. It's so dangerous sometimes? Oh yeah, for sure. Like, probably everybody who goes on those trips has to know first aid. Which, everybody should know basic first aid anyway. I think I want to take another first aid class, because last time I did first aid it was required in middle school. But I really should retake another class. You know, I want to be the Giga Chad who helps save a choking baby at the restaurant. Like, I want that to be me. I pressed B by accident on my GBA. God! Stupid buttons! They're too small! Why am I- I need to get my back. <laughs> the buttons are so difficult. Lo siento. I always get scared whenever Twitch support has a new tweet. <laughs> Thank you, Mac, for replying to my tweet. <laughs> Sorry, the music in the game sounded weird. Guys, reply. Click the pin chat. Reply to that most recent tweet. I need it for tomorrow's stream. If we reply to the tweet, I'll reply back instantly. Today only. Snazzy so cool. So steel is strong against ground, but not necessarily rock. Hey, grew to level eighteen. Hey.
Yo. Is it bad that I want to, like, order food? Even though I know it's a holiday, I won't, because I'm not evil. Because usually on Sundays or Mondays, my sister will, like, get food in sometimes, like, every other week. But we're not going to do it today because it's holiday. We're going to be respectful. Because then I feel bad for the workers and then bad for the drivers. I was thinking about this on my morning walk. But I feel like online culture makes people forget that there's nuance to every situation. Everybody has such like a hyper individualistic perspective due to online culture because when you're online you get to consume what you want to consume you kind of keep to your own circles that you like so you don't necessarily engage with people who think differently and then whenever online communities do engage with other communities they always invalidate each other it seems or they try to find like the nitpickiest hedge situation and it's so annoying like this morning, I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know, I'm so lucky that I can cook for myself. Because I, I know a lot of people say cook if you can, it's easy, it's easier, or no, it's healthier to make food yourself. But more cases than not, that's a privilege. Because obviously not everybody has time or the money to buy like raw ingredients every week. But if you're the type of person to where cooking is the norm, you may not understand the perspective of one who needs to, like, get pre-made food all the time. I don't know, because, like, whenever- it's so bad, I spend so much of my time online. Whenever I have a thought, I always think about how other people would interpret the thought if I share it. Because I think my exact thought process this morning was like, dang. That fettuccine I made was really good the other day. It was genuinely really good. And then I thought, I was like, well, if I say this, like, online, what would people think? And then I just started, like, going through all the steps of, like, the madness that people would respond with. I don't know. I think it's because, in general, the way my thought process is, I will always think of every single possible scenario, whether that be, like, actual thing happening or what somebody's opinion could be. And I definitely think, like, me spending more time online did not help that. <laughs> This sand tree is so strong. Yep. Yeah, my sister got lucky. She didn't have to work today. She usually had to work on holidays. I think she had to work on Christmas night this past year. But she got lucky. She got today off. We're not doing anything, though. <laughs> What happened yesterday? Dude. She didn't get in trouble. She got so lucky. You wanna hear something? Oh, for context. My sister, like, went to work at a new building because she's being cross-trained. I'm speaking softer because I can hear her in the hallway. <laughs> 
but she didn't know which door to go in and nobody was there, so she just went back home. And then she went back to work, and then somebody let her in the building. But anyway, she gets home. You guys saw me when I was muted for a few minutes, like she was telling me all the drama. Like, she said the supervisors felt so bad for her that one of them bought her McDonald's for lunch. <laughs> I was like, what? First, your manager is not woke. And also, like, dude, that's like... <laughs> that's my sister's L. <laughs> A girl to level 19, let's go. Ooh, fake out! I know, it's crazy. I wish my job did that. No, my sister has a really good job. She's lucky. All her coworkers are really nice. I think it's also because a lot of her coworkers are like older, and my sister's really young, so they probably see her as like a little, like a little kid. Okay, fake out. A first turn, first strike move that causes flinching. A first turn, first strike. Oh, so it's like an actual fake out punch. Okay, maybe I'll try this. Yeah, she got lucky. She didn't get in trouble or anything. Lucky little shit. A learn fake out. Let's go. I think it's- I think they also weren't mad because she's being cross-trained, but it's like the same training but in a different facility, so... It's not like she missed out on like anything new. So out of all the days to like mess up, it probably was the best day to mess up. <laughs> and I'm trying to think of any time that like I like messed up at work. There was a few times where I was like 10 minutes late, but that's only because I was working two jobs. So, it was me, like, going from my first job to the second job and being, like, a little bit late. So that wasn't too bad. Oh, I remember at the pizza place. If anybody's worked pizza. Um. There's different types of oven. Oh, a crit! Holy moly! But our ovens were the ones that had, like, the metal conveyor belts. And I, I think that's standard. I'm not sure. But because of that, the conveyor belts keep moving. So if you don't grab the pizza off the rack in time, it'll fall on the floor. So, I think in my whole time at the pizza place, I was there for about six months, I dropped like maybe three pizzas. And there was another time, which I think this is the worst. Because <laughs> like if you drop a pizza and it's not in the box, then it's like, okay, you can just remake it. Like the customer's gotta wait another ten minutes, like that's whatever. But I think the most <laughs> embarrassing thing was... Oh man, Skarmory's out of PP. Oopsie, I was too busy yapping. I was doing a curbside pickup. So I, I, so how curbside worked is you had the pizza box in your hand, and you had to stand as far away as you could, and then you extend your arms like this, and pass it to them in the window. So I did that, but I didn't have a str- uh Oh, super effective, what the hell? I didn't have a strong enough grip on the box, so when I went like this, the customer didn't grab in time. When I let go, so I dropped the pizza box on the ground. And oh, I said, oh my god, I'll make you guys a new one. I picked it up. Like, it landed bottom side on the ground. So, like, it was fine. But they thought I caught the box. Because <laughs> the moment it fell, like, I instantly, like, squatted to, like, grab it, right? But, like, it still fell on the ground. And I, I picked it up. And the, the customer was like, oh, I'll take it. I was like, you sure you don't want another one? And they are like, no, honey, it's fine. <laughs> So I don't know if they knew that it fell on the ground, or if they just didn't care. <laughs> I'll be honest, if I was the person in the car, I wouldn't care. Cause like, if you think about it, when you get like any normal food delivery, they put the food box on the ground. So it doesn't matter. But yeah, I think that, I think that was like the most embarrassing thing, or mistake that's happened at work in front of a customer. But like, in the kitchen, probably just like dropping food. Or, okay, I don't think I ever did this, but I saw somebody who did this. It was at Subway, and 
Sometimes, depending on, like, the veggie type, it can take a while to do veggie prep, like slicing, cutting, and putting it into the little container. There was one person, they were cutting tomatoes, and tomatoes, it had this, it's a horizontal slicer, so you put the tomato here, and then you use a push tool, and the tool has, like, blades, so it slices it horizontally. But it takes a lot of strength to do it, so tomatoes, to prep a whole day's worth, could take, like, 15-20 minutes. Which isn't that long when compared to, like, actual veggie prep, but still, like, that's a lot of time going like this, you know? And I remember somebody had just finished prepping all their tomatoes, they go to pick up the container, they drop it all over the floor. I felt so bad. Wait, Skarmory's out of pee-pee! I forgot! Oh, dude, spills are the worst at work. I remember one day somebody spilled, like, a whole bottle of olive oil in the back kitchen. And, like, you can't mop up oil. It's impossible. So, you have to get, like, special floor cleaner, which we didn't have. So the whole floor was slippery for days! Yep. Easy. That's really scary. I know! But thankfully, my non-slip shoes worked for the most part. You know what else is scary? Watching the stream and not following. Because, guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream. So, if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? Turn that heart button purple. Please, again, go to level 39. Let's go. Oh, no, okay, I think this is actually the worst mistake I've ever made at work. Because, you know, I caused a biohazard incident. So what happened was, I was making my Subway sandwich for a customer. And if your loaf of bread is here, you're supposed to cut the serrated knife through. So that way you can open it like a loaf of bread. So, I accidentally clipped my... Because I was cutting like this, I accidentally clipped my left hand. So... <laughs> and I didn't realize until, like, after I put the meat on. But thankfully, I don't grab with my left, I grab with my right. So there was there was only blood on the bread and then the cutting board. It wasn't a lot. It was only, like, one or two little spots. But still, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so my manager got really annoyed. Because, <laughs> like, obviously, you had to, like, bleach clean everything that the blood got on. So, like, the knife, got the cutting board. But still... Like, it was during the lunch rush, so, like, it was bad. Thankfully, I didn't get infected. You know, I think all the salt in the subway bread closed the wound for me. But thankfully, like, the, the knives they have at Subway's are really dull. <laughs> so it's not like it would have went through my hand. It was just a little nick. But it's a good thing that I noticed it before I actually served the food. Because, like, imagine biting into your Subway sandwich and there being, like, red stuff and it not being sauce on it. That would have been really bad. 
And then they also would have had my DNA. Anchor to level 20. Let's go. Hey. Yeah, so that's my uh, top two fails of work. What's my biggest stream fail? <laughs> Wait. Um. There was one time where I accidentally showed my foot on camera. <laughs> it was ages ago. If anybody finds it, honestly, I think you deserve it. It would take a lot of persistence to find it. I'm giving you no hints. Yeah, I don't think I've had I don't think I've had any other big Twitch fails that were like my fault. Cause yeah, stream crashing, not really my fault. I don't I don't think I've ever gone live on the wrong account. Maybe I have? I think I went live on my alt probably accidentally once or twice, but like that doesn't matter. <clears throat> Well, there was one time where, like, I was getting ready for stream and I had a tank top on, so, like, it was fine. But, like, when I clicked, like, when I started streaming and then I went to my camera scene, the camera had frozen. And whenever it freezes, it, like, takes a, like, it freezes on the last frame that the camera picked up. And it was frozen on me wearing my tank top. <laughs> so, thankfully, thankfully, I was, like, fully covered. But then I was like, holy shit. Like, that's why, like, in general, I don't... Obviously, like, don't sit in front of your computer naked. Like, I got all my cameras covered, but still, like, you don't know who's watching. You know, the fence are always in chat. But I also... I've gotten in the habit of, like, keeping my lens cap on my actual camera whenever I end stream. I've gotten really good about it. Like, I don't want you guys to see me hunched over like this, playing Supermarket Simulator. Nobody wants to see that. But also, apparently this guy does. Thank you for the follow! <laughs> Can we get some yo's? Hello. <laughs> kind of a weird story to join in on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I, I think those are my top, my top 10 stream fails. Because streaming is my new job, technically. I do have full-time creator in the hashtags of the stream. Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess another fail would be when I called a viewer stupid jokingly, and then they unfollow the channel later that day. I think that could be a fail. <laughs> I felt so bad for that. Okay, I- this happened, like, over a year ago. But we- I was obviously doing, like, a planned stream. Like, the streams were, like, what I'm doing is in the title, right? I- it- it probably was a Mario Kart stream where it's, like, a Mario Kart challenge run where it's, like, I don't drift. So the, the person came in to chat, it was their first chat of the day, I should have been nicer. <laughs> but they were like, oh, what are we doing today? And I was like, we're doing this today, it's in the title, you dumbass. <laughs> and obviously I said it jokingly. But then, like, the person never chatted again, and then I saw that they unfollowed my channel. <laughs> and I was like, oh no, I probably made them feel really bad. Ever since then, I've tried to be nicer. Or, anytime that I do call somebody a dumbass, I always say sorry. Yeah, so that is, I guess, top 10 stream fails number three.
You still talk to me like that? But you like it. A grew to level 21. Get in there. Also, I don't have a protein shake today because I'm making dinner tonight. And I also had a cinnamon roll this morning. It's because my sister went to Trader Joe's like a week ago, right? And she bought a whole bunch of food, which is cool, but she didn't like some of it. And one of the things she didn't like was these cinnamon rolls. So now I have to eat the cinnamon rolls. And they have so much sugar in them. And my protein shakes have so much dinner. Have so much sugar. What's for dinner? Um, uh, chicken soup. But it's chicken, artich chicken artichoke spinach soup. That sounds so good, dude, it is. I used to, like, hate on cookbooks. 
But dude, when you live on your own and you got a meal prep, it's so hard to think of things to make. So I just bought a cookbook that has only chicken recipes. And I probably only made like five of them. And there's still so many left that I can make. I missed. Because it's hard like googling chicken noodle soup and finding a good recipe. Because they're all like the same and they're often like middle-aged white women who don't know how to season. So the strat is you find a chef you like or a type of cuisine you like and just get a cookbook. And then you don't gotta waste time like googling and searching when you do meal prep. I don't know if, like, this is illegal or not. I didn't do this. So, feds, not me. But when we were little, my mom would borrow books in the library and, like, literally photocopy them. Like, she would photocopy, like, children's books. That way, if my sister had liked a book, she would copy it. And then we would read copies of the book at home. <laughs> and you know what they also did? <laughs> Wait, should I admit this? Like, we would borrow DVDs from the library, and then my- my dad would burn them. Like, onto his own CDs. That way we could, like, keep watching Pokemon! And Hello Kitty! I think he could get in trouble for that. You know, I would never pirate anything. I, I like to play games on my GBA. Okay, let's be honest. I think DVDs are like basically obsolete now. Who has a DVD player at home? Type 1. We don't have a DVD player anymore. We just put the DVDs in our PlayStation. And it works the same. Jay, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. My dad stopped, like, burning CDs. Wait, he also burned CDs?! <laughs> I'm remembering! He would burn, like, movies and DVDs for me and my sister. And then he would also burn CDs from the library. So, like, half the CDs on their rack in the living room is just burned CDs. <laughs> my god. But he, he kind of stopped doing that whenever, like, streaming became a thing. Like, just put on YouTube music, Listen to music all day. No need for CDs anymore. Hey, grew to level 22. Let's go. Guys, I think we're speed running the Norman Gym. This could be the shortest peace lock stream. Stature of limitation five years. I think it should be fine. He stopped burning CDs like ten years ago. Oop. I do appreciate how like everything is a lot more accessible through like live streaming. Like movies and TV shows. But then it also brought up the point of, like, you can't own anything anymore, it seems like. 
Kind of like how Xbox, I think it was Xbox, announced that, like, you can only download games, no more physical hard copies anymore soon. That, to me, is wild. I love the charm of having a physical game cartridge, or the disc. Because the box, the box art in and it of itself, I think is so cool. Like, streaming does make things cheaper, but the novelty isn't there. Am I gonna beat Gym 5 today? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because Norman, his Pokemon is highest level is 31. And he's gotta have a slack off, so I have to make sure that I buy Awakening Heals before I go. Because, like, oops, looking at my party, Blaziken is already so overleveled. Like, Blaziken, Blaziken could just tank the whole gym. But I still want to try battle with my other Pokemon. The only reason why I'm leveling up Blaziken is so I can do the XG XP share in the background and then also, like, I don't want to level up my other five Pokemon too much. I only have one Chesto Berry. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, I have a question for the Pokemon fans in the chat room. If I have my Pokemon hold an item, like a Paralysis Heal or a Potion, will they automatically redeem the item on themselves? Or do they have to... Do I have to tell them to use it? If they hold the item, will they use it themselves? They will not use it themselves. I mean, it makes sense. They don't have the uh, opposable thumbs to spray the medicine. Hmm. Well, that sucks. You know what also sucks? Watching ads. Because, guys, we are another hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing. For $4.99, just $5. Look at this. My wrist from my GBA. Anyway. If you subscribe, you get cool votes and ad-free doing, ad-free viewing for just $4.99. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for Rio Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a subscription available. Uh oh, my mod view froze. Uh oh. Rub row. Okay, my mod view says I'm offline, but I'm not offline. Why is my mod view not working? Oh, 
Okay, it's fixed now. It's back. Okay, I want to look up to see if... Um, can Pokemon use held heal items? Okay, it says, yes, the Pokemon can hold it. It says the Pokemon can hold the item, but it doesn't mean it'll use it. So berries are the only thing that a Pokemon will use on its own. Okay, so giving a Pokemon a, a status heal will not work. It has to be a berry. Which makes sense. The Pokemon don't have thumbs. Okay. Well, I, I planted all my Chesto berries. Ethan again? Ew. Last time he called me, he said he was looking for ladies on the mountain. Kinda sus if you ask me. So I guess the strat for battles is to still give every Pokemon a Oran Berry. Hi, Kaylin. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? You're so late. You're three hours late. This is going on your permanent record, Kaylin. Nah, I'm kidding. Get some more rest tonight, though. Well, look at this. Look at this. Watch this. Yo. Wait, watch this. Ooh, I'm so cool. Wait, I'm bunny hopping because it's Easter. Look. The Easter bunny. Bunny hop. Were customers crazy at work for holiday killing? Or were they normal? The only good thing about working like the day before and holiday is that people tip more. That was the only good thing.
It was normal we spent most of the day cleaning since it wasn't too busy. Yeah. It's always good to clean, I guess. You know what they say, a clean home is a happy home, and you spend so much time at work, it may as well be your home. Let's see, scars, 24, A, 22. Whenever they get to 25, we'll go to the gym. Man, my back almost did a clean 90 degree turn there. Just like Batman. <clears throat> Take the L. A Grudel level 23. Let's go. Yeah, Norman's Pokemon are level 27 to 31. Their defense curl does so much to increase their defense, it's crazy. Hi Billy, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Why are all the Brits coming in now? I didn't even say biscuit once today. Scargrid to level 25. Let's go. Okay, question for the Pokemon fans. Does Skarmory evolve? Don't tell me if he does, but just does he? I don't remember. I don't know how to even answer that question. The, the question was, does Skarmory evolve? But don't tell me what he's called. <laughs> I thought I made it clear. Maybe I'm DOM? Don't tell me if he does, but does he? Oh, did I say that? <laughs> okay, I misspoke then. <laughs> I, I misspoke. He does evolve? Okay. I have no clue what he evolves into. Dude, I hate my disability. I wish my big brain made me smart. It just makes me like have difficulty communicating. You know, it's a good thing I didn't go to school to be a doctor. I'd be too dumb now.
Oh, talking about clips, guys. Today is the last day to make clips for the month of March. Whoever makes the best and most clips gets a VIP and a Twitch gift card. Right now, I think Electra is gonna win. Put your bets on Electra. But you can still make clips. Oh wait, the best clip from yesterday's stream was made by Keelan and Kolbobo. The cadaver learning RP. I'll have to go back and clip it more. That was a really funny moment. But thank you, Keelan and Kobobo, for clipping that. Whoever makes the best clip of every stream gets it posted on Twitter. And I will thank you the next stream. Mm-hmm. Ow, I kicked my desk. The way you instantly panicked in that clip made me giggle. No, nah, it was for the joke. I'm not scared by RP. In game. I love GTA. Oops, why did I do Dragon Rage? <laughs> I got really mad. Also talking about clips, guys, if you haven't already, click the pin chat, reply to my most recent tweet. It's for tomorrow's stream. Very, very serious stream tomorrow. And if you reply to that tweet right now, I'll reply to you back right now. Mm hmm?
I know there's a way to catch Rayquaza in this game. I wonder if I can bring Rayquaza to the Elite Four. Like, imagine pulling up with a Legendary. It's gotta be in that cave on the island. There was a strange platform that seemed like it meant something. And if there is a way to catch him, I wanna bring him to the Elite Four. <laughs> because, you know, why would he be on the box if he can't catch it? It would be false advertising. Capnia. Been a while since I've seen one of you around here. Now, if we just take Capnia and we stretch it this way, I think it could pass as a Rayquaza. What do you guys think? Or we stack Capnias on top of each other and just cut off the arms. That could also work. It would fool me, I'll be honest. <laughs> you Can I not make a joke? You know, these are long streams. I gotta toss in a few bits in between. I'm practicing to be a stand-up comic. You guys know this. Another cactus. See, we're just gonna keep stacking them. I think that's the fifth one we've seen today.
Blaziken grew to level 40. My goal today is to get Blaziken to level 99. I think I can do it. With Faith, Trust, and Pixie Dust, it'll take me... So many hours. Scar grew to level 26. Let's go. Scar is trying to learn Fury Attack. Ooh. Fury Attack normal. Jabs the foe two to five times the sharp horns. Okay. Hmm. Reduce foe's accuracy or increase my own speed. If you go into a fight and you're high enough level, you usually, like, are faster and also have the quick clock item. Yeah, I don't think I need speed. I don't have the need for speed. Scar forgot agility and learn fury attack. Also, guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes, and you get to tap in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? Turn that heart button purple today. Maybe you'll learn something. Yeah, Scar is level 26, so they're ready for the gym. A is at 23, so we'll keep leveling until A gets to the right level. I think I want to get- I should get A and Skarmory to 27 at least, like the lowest level in the actual gym. Because I think the main Pokemon I'm going to use at Norman's gym is Kadabra.
I hope people realize that we call the peace lock the peace lock because my name is Peason. Like, I'm not doing a pacifist run of Pokemon. Yeah, I'm trying my best not to kill my own Pokemon, but now I can't guarantee other fallen soldiers. Can you even do, like, a pacifist run of Pokemon? I don't think you can. Because if you don't, like, end the battle, you don't get XP. Another Cagnail we can add to the Requaza pile.
I'm gonna go heal. Okay, Skarmory's at 26. A is at 23. Almost there. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. <gasps> the tower's here! I want to see if the holes up top are still the same. They are. Watch this. No! <laughs> I was trying to buddy hop. Wait, no! The, 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 the tower has better Pokemon because you don't have the sandstorm. I heard Kobobo got a BBL. What? Huh? I told you to save your money, not spend it, man. Now, no more sandstorm. at you guys. Now I know how annoying it was to see Mary do defense curl after defense curl. But we'll never see Mary do it ever again because she's dead. Or he. Mary was a he in this game. Dude, we just hit 66 hours. We're so close to the funny number. Maybe with this attempt, we'll get to the two funny numbers, 69 and 420. Dude, no way it would take me 400 hours. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be crazy. This month alone, I've streamed 100 hours. Not, obviously, 100 hours of Pokemon, but still. A lot. You know what it... You know what would help me out a lot? If you reply to the tweet that's pinned at the top of chat. Do it now. If you're a real peace and fan, leave a reply on that tweet. It's for tomorrow's stream. I'm 67? No, you're my age. I'm not that old. 
Not even switching the digits around will help me. <laughs> Watch this, guard's gonna level up. I lied. That was just a little jibate. I can't believe we're gonna be in our mid-twenties. I know, I'm turning 25 this month. Alright, I guess next month. It's not April yet. Like, everybody's having kids. I don't know what to do. Oh my god, Scar grew to level 27. That's crazy. But I'm not turning 27 this year. So Scar Marie is officially ready for the gym. Yeah, screw them kids. I mean, I have the opinion that you should not have a kid unless you're, like, emotionally mature. You're fiscally secure. And we talked about this yesterday, but, like, when you have a kid, like, if your kid comes out, like, disabled, you have to be a caretaker, and that's a whole nother level of responsibility. I remember I used to think Peason was old, Tells me I look young for my age. How okay, how old do I look? Be honest. But like don't be mean. Don't be brutally honest. Anchor to level 24. Let's go. That's how old I am right now. I look 23. Yo, minus one. Not because of how you look. Wait, I sound old? 44 mods ban Electra. I'm not even kidding. Get him! <laughs> what made you think I was old? <laughs> not my looks. Like, what? <laughs> you guys are so mean. I used to work at a daycare when I was a teenager. So I was like 17, 16 at the time. The little five-year-olds were like, Miss Peason, aren't you like 30? And I'm like, bro, I'm 16! The good thing though, no kid asked if I was pregnant, even though I was overweight when I was a teenager too. Every hour of the Nuzlocke adds one year? No! Dude, I would be dead. I would be 91. <laughs> I would be dead. <laughs> Ain't no way I'm making it to 91. You know, I would go out at 69 for the meme. My aunt called me and asked if I'm having kids. Wait, does she know you're gay? <laughs> yeah, who's gonna tell her? Hi, <laughs> Dio Mio. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like people have kids to be selfish or because they think that's what they have to do. Which, on a biological level, yeah. Like, the human mission is to reproduce. But with modern capitalism, ew. Like, it's near impossible to, like, have a kid for multiple reasons. There's not enough social safety nets. It's hella expensive. College isn't free anymore. You know, do you really want some bum sleeping in your garage? Even if it's your kid.
I also think it's kind of scary how you can get, like, really in-depth, like, DNA testing to where you can see, like, what potential underlying diseases you might have. I don't- I don't ever want to do one of those tests. I don't- I don't ever want to know. It's like, if I have cancer one day, which is more likely because of my disability, I'm more likely to get tumors. Awkward. So, like, I don't need to do DNA testing to find that out now. <laughs> Guys, don't worry. It'll be for a long time. But it's like... I also think it's kind of weird how they're trying to make technology to where they can genetically modify your offspring to, like, not have said diseases. Like, that to me is also bad, because that's, like, eugenics, or that will lead to more extreme forms of eugenics. Like, yes, preventing somebody from having a debilitating disability is, like, kind of sick, but, like... It's hard. But then you're seeing as, like, that somebody being that way is not desirable and not ideal, and it's, like, not... It makes the people who currently are struggling feel more worse about themselves. Be honest, if my man is rich, I might have kids. You know, and that's fine. And that's fine. You know, if I could have a kid and they could, like, afford to do two sports, and I could buy all the equipment myself, maybe it'd be worth. The line between disease and disability would be blurred? Yeah. It's like, it's scary to think about. I remember having this conversation with my friend. We were walking to school, it was high school senior year. And we were talking about like, I, I don't know why we were talking about this, but we were thinking, cause he was saying, he was like, all the stupid people should be like, sent somewhere else. <laughs> that way all the smart people can have kids. And I was like, dumbass. Like, intelligence is not hereditary, it's more situational. Like, if you go to a better school, you're probably more likely to be educated. If you have more money, you're probably gonna be, like, be able to go to college. And then he was like, okay, never mind then. <laughs> and then the conversation ended. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> But thankfully, he didn't like anything else. He just wanted the stupid people to, like, be out of here. Granted, we were, like, stupid 17-year-olds. Was he smart? Um, he wasn't very book smart, but he was, like, a very, like, philosophical, intellectual person. Like, he and I would have, like, discussions. Like, on our walks to school. I hope he's doing okay. I haven't talked to him since high school. I remember he stopped walking with me to school because his brother gave him his old car. So... And then he didn't, like, drive me to school either. I still had to walk to school. I always get the urge to, like, reach out to high school friends, but then I think to myself, it's been literally, like, five plus years. They're probably so different. And I myself am so different. I'm woke now. And also, like... I get invites for, like, high school reunions, like, every year. Because I remember... They let alumni come in for, like, Christmas assemblies and then at the end of the year for graduation. So I get, like, an email every year. And I'm like, I don't want to go. Like, I don't talk to anybody who I went to school with. Like, there, there's probably, like, maybe three teachers that, like, stood out a lot to me. I think only two of them are still teaching at my school. But then it's like, would they even remember me? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't stand out too much. No, for sure my art teacher, he would remember me. I know he would. He was really cool. But I told myself, I'm only gonna go to a high school reunion if I'm, like, 
successful. Like, if I become a huge YouTuber, or if I have, like, a lot of money. Like, I don't want to go now and be like, yeah, I'm disabled, I stream on Twitch to an average of less than three viewers, I fell off. <laughs> like, I don't want to be a scrub, even though I feel like most people who went to my high school ended up being scrubs. There, there are a few students who I assume are doctors now. I would beat up high school me. I'm so happy I changed, dude. Me too. I'm also stronger now, so I think I could actually, like, uh, rough up past me. You did a lot. Give yourself credit. Yeah, I got a degree. It's a science degree, technically. But thank you, Kim. I don't know. I bet, like, half of my high school class would be, like, bringing, the, bringing their little toddlers to reunion. So guys, can we get to a million subscribers so I can have clout in my high school reunion? <laughs> That's a plus for you? Yeah. You know, a kid is a good and negative buff. Good for clout, but bad for, like, everything else. High school, you got Macachia. <laughs> you know, I'm embarrassed that two of my chatters are dating. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Like, it's cute, but I don't want people like clicking on the peace and stream expecting to like get a date. You know, I don't even have a date. Oh my god, A grew to level 25. Let's go. A is trying to learn Fury Swipe. Lumao, Lumao! Also, to clarify, I'm not looking for a GF or a BF, okay? I'm not looking. But if I was looking, it would be so easy. Oh, fake out causes flinching. Yo. When astonished may cause flinching. That's huge. Would I go on dating apps? No. You know, I would just loiter at my coffee shop wearing the most gay shit. I would order my rainbow jacket. It's also because, like, I, I, like, I need emotional maturity in a relationship, and I don't think you can, like, know somebody until, like, unless you already, like, met them. What did I miss? Uh, watch the VOD, Mac. I don't know what to do! Honestly, nature power seems kind of dumb. Are there a lot of gays in Washington? Yeah. There's so many. A learn Fuey Swipe. I said Fuey Swipe. <laughs> I love older women, they be mature. Out of context, I'm gonna screenshot that. That this one is going in the chat logs out of context Discord server. I'm saving that one. That one's crazy.
I do feel like there's a lot of queer people in Washington. But it's hard because Washington is very liberal, right? So, like, everybody looks fucking gay. Like, even the straight girlies look gay. It's so hard. Hi, Ethan. <laughs> It really sucks. You know what else sucks? Watching ads. Because guys, we are another hour into stream. or four hours in. I'm almost ready for the gym. Do not worry. Do not fret. So if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe right now. For $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing on the phone. Or you can link the Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free or prime. It's over here. Click subscribe. See if you have a prime sub available. And if you're new here, click that follow button. If you're lurking and you want to type in chat, uh, just click the follow button. It's free. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. I think I'll be ready for the gym within the next hour. So guys, get your popcorn. It's happening soon. We're nearing the climax. You know what's funny? <laughs> Talking about climax. I apparently can't put the word climax in my Twitch title. I was playing Paranormal Sight, and I was gonna title the stream Reaching the Cl the Climax Plot, or the Plot Climax, and it said, you- The title is against Twitch Terms of Service. Please change your title. Yeah, it's good, but I was like, I don't mean it in that way, obviously, Twitch staff, like, come on. I'm poisoned! Just like MAGA poisoned your uncle's brain. Um, 69, funny HP. <laughs> Not so obvious, have you seen some of the streamers on here? Uh... I, I personally like when people push the boundaries and express themselves. I love free speech. I also love looking. <laughs> but it is really good to counteract it, how Twitch lets you, like, filter out certain tags, categories. Like, even on your recommended homepage. I think that's really good. So now people can't complain about seeing hot tub streamers when they open Twitch. They just have to filter it out. Which I think is how it should have been from the start. Like, kind of like how on Twitter you can block certain words. Like, I think that makes sense. I think Twitch is just going through the, you know, boobs in the thumbnail meta on YouTube. You know, it's just a hump and they'll get over it. How'd I miss? Oops. What am I hunting for? Um, I'm not hunting for anything. I've caught all the Pokemon in this area. I'm just leveling up. I'm grinding. Look! Magikarp grew to level 31. They're maxed out for the gym now.
What? I thought the name Magikarp was funny. Can I not have a little giggle? I mean, not allowed? You guys know how powerful Maga is. I want people to, like, join the battlefield and be like... Because <gasps> they see a Gyarados and then they also see Maga. Dude, I, I should have named him something else. I bet if I say Maga so much in the YouTube video, it's gonna, like, get demonetized. I should have thought this through. Am I getting the Trump Bible? Wait, that's a thing? I haven't even read the normal Bible. I think, like, breaking my... I'm not saying that. <laughs> I think having my first Bible read-through being the Trump version, I think would be doubly bad. He just announced it. <laughs> Donald Trump, if you hear this, please save us! Pages in chat for the Trump Bible, guys. Pangolin? That's the animal that has- that looks like a sand shoe, right? I was watching the platypus, like, mini talk with my sister yesterday. In my theory about platypi, I think platypuses, or platypi, were a human experiment. I'm convinced. It looks like something you'd see in, like, an animorph book. Level 26. Let's go. One more level and then he's ready. Oh yeah, Phineas and Ferb. I love that show. I was gonna sing the OP, but I only know the first line. I'm not gonna say it unless I can finish it. Wait, it's like 2 p.m. Is it, did anybody do Easter stuff today? Who went to church this morning? Or did an Easter egg hunt? Or are you just like me and stayed home? You know what I did this morning? I actually cleaned the kitchen. My hands still smell like bleach. So anytime I adjust my glasses, I'm, I'm smelling the bleach. 
I don't do church. Me neither. I've only went to church twice. And it was when I was in like fourth grade. Because I went to my grandma's church. In Hawaii. Easter egg hunts are so fun. I would do one as like an adult. But I, I feel so embarrassed. Because I know they do like adult egg hunts. Where they put like bath bombs inside the eggs. Or money. And I'm so tempted. But then I'm like, nah, I'm fine. Definitely my favorite part of Easter was decorating the eggs. I love doing that. As a kid, you think trick-or-treating is so fun because you're like, oh my god, free candy. And I get to stay up late. But when you're an adult, you get to stay up late whenever you want and you can just buy the candy. It doesn't seem as special anymore. Like, the most exciting thing about Halloween now is rushing to the store at midnight so you can buy all the candy before all the old ladies buy them in the morning. The reason why the old ladies go in the morning the next day is because they know there will still be lozenges left on the shelf. I want to check something. Quick attack. An extremely fast attack that always strikes first. In Norman's gym, there was a speed section. Remember that for later. Halloween is eight now? Yeah, it's kind of boring. We usually just leave a bowl out for the kids. Because when you open and close the door, you know, the AC blows out. You're wasting electricity. Dang, 146 HP? Holy moly. Wait, watch this. <laughs> I feel so cool now that I know how to do the bunny hops.
Blaziken grew to level 41. Oh, A needs 65 more XP. One more fight and then we can go to the gym, guys. The final encounter. Okay, why is it taking forever? This is the... Final encounter! Eager to level 27, they're now ready for the gym. After four hours, I have all the Pokemon I wanted to level for Norman ready. So it's time to go defeat my father. But I'm actually speedrunning, that only took four hours. I'm making so my party leader because we're going through the Electro Pokemon area soon to get back to Petalburg. I'm also going to buy items here because I don't think Petalburg has larger potions. Oh wait, it does tell me how many is in my bag! I have 19. I'll buy two. Why not? Oh, it doesn't tell me how many status heal items I have. Wait, it does tell me! Am I dumb? I'm so DOM. I have 10 Awakening. I just- I literally never look to the left of the screen. Ideal meal. To Petalburg City I go. Wait, look at this. Gulpin. Have I tried the carrot cake cookie from Crumble? Yes, I did get it this week. And it was my first, like, cake that I've gotten from Crumble. Oh, I think- wait. Oh, that thought I thought I failed. It was pretty good. The frosting was really good, but the actual cake was really thin. So it was super light. So, like, I just kept on eating it. Because their cookies are really dense, but their cake was super light. So it was really good. I heard such great things about it. Oh, it was really good. <gasps> wait, go! Oh, Wingle almost killed so last time. 
But what was really nice about the cake cookie is that it had two layers of frosting. Because it was basically like a sandwich cake, but then they had extra frosting on top. Oh, this is the wrong way. There's a huge lake in the middle. Oh yeah, I have to take the boat. Hopefully Crumble does more cakes. The workers at my local store said they're going to be doing a lot more different things soon. I was like, oh! I was like, you guys are going to ruin my diet! Oh, you're a graveler? You have to go for it a little harder. Yeah, I know they have pie cookies, but do they have actual, like, pies? Do burn it is, then. Crumble cookie, just cookies? Yeah, they have other stuff now. Ever since, like, winter or fall last year, they've been offering more variety. I really wanted to try their Tres Leches cake, but I didn't have a chance to try it. I didn't have time that week. We're back in Petalburg, everyone. Wait, I kind of want to go talk to my mom. In game. In game, of course. Let's get our team ready. They should make more items not just weekly. No, that's the whole gimmick. If they change the gimmick, then what's the point? It gets people coming back every week, a guaranteed customer. Because there are people who try the whole lineup every week. For the- for the meme. Like, the rotating menu makes it feel like a local bakery shop. Or like a local restaurant. Like, you know how they have, like, weekly specials? Where they serve something- something for just two weeks because they only got strawberries for two weeks? It reminds me of that low-key. I don't want to meet someone who's had every flavor. Dude, just like DM Instagram influencers. Okay, let's make our team. Party leader is going to be Kadabra. Mainly because Norman said he likes powerful Pokemon. So I feel like that implies normal or fighting. So psychic type is going to be my main. Okay, party lineup for Norman Jim. Norman's, Norman's Pokemon are level 27 to 31, so ideally 30 should be our Pokemon caps. But oh well, no level caps is part of the rule. So party leader Kadabra, because like I said, Norman said he likes powerful Pokemon, so to me that implies normal or fighting. So type advantage, I assume. Second in queue, Blaziken. Overleveled as Shriek, but if there's a double battle, he'll win. 
Magikarp, because he has Intimidate and also Dragon Rage. Dragon, I think, works against most anything besides Fairy? I don't know. Graveler. He's just really strong. Skarmory. I want to try a Steel type if I need to. And Lombre. Water and Grass, but he does have a Dark move. So I think this is the most versatile team that I can make. Also, A still has XP share, because why not? I'm gonna give all my other Pokemon berries. Just to be safe, because I don't know what to expect from Norman. Okay, my whole party is ready. Most every Pokemon has an Oran Berry, just in case. I think I'm ready to face my father. I'm nervous, but also not. I feel fine. You guys know the drill. New prediction. Do you think I will lose any Pokemon on this gym? It could happen. It could not. I don't know. I, I genuinely am not sure. I don't know what type explicitly this gym is. Which my playstyle relies heavily on types. Hey, how's it going, champion bound Peason? The doors in this gym open when you beat the awaiting trainers. Huh. <laughs> the doors in this room are already open, so don't attack me. The trainers in Petalburg Gym are use all kinds of items. The door at the left leads to the speed room. The door at the right leads to the accuracy room. The room's name will be on the door, so choose carefully. Once you've chosen the door, well, hey, go for it. Okay, so... Left with speed, right accuracy. As I talked about earlier, Blaziken does have quick attack, which it says it always goes first. But I kind of feel like that's a cop-out. So, I think it's better... Okay, because to me it implies that either the Pokemon in this room go first, for sure. And then this Pokemon always hit. Which, most of my Pokemon are tanky, so they can take a hit. So, I'm gonna go for the accuracy room. Accuracy room, the sign says. Do you want to go through? Yeah. I'll do it. Hello, you have your own room? Can I just avoid her? <laughs> this is the accuracy room. It's pretty nasty when every attack lands without fail. Yeah, that that is really scary. <laughs> cool trainer Mary would set up a Delketty. Uh Delketty is normal Maybe psychic. But Skitty is normal. Um. Okay, but I'm faster because I'm level 35. <laughs> what? Faint attack is super effective against psychic. What was strong against psychic? Dark? That's a dark move? Oh, I, okay. I think that's why the faint didn't work on Skarmory earlier. What? Okay, that's crazy! If I do recover, Delcaddy's still gonna hit me. I should do Psybeam because I'm faster. Uh oh. Yo! You defeated Cool Trainer Mary. You were a cut above me. You got 1,248 Pokedollars for winning. 
Okay, that was kind of scary. <laughs> um, I'm gonna heal real quick. Also, I want to look at the prediction. Oh, nobody gambled. Lamau. Okay. Wait, there's different rooms? Oh yeah, the guy that starts said everybody uses different items. Okay, interesting. Defense room, the sign says. Do you want to go through? No. Recovery room, the sign says. Do you want to go through? No. Okay, recovery implies that maybe they can... They recover every turn? Or... They steal my HP like a grass move does. Defense? If you do defense, you just got a tank. So you know what? Defense room. This gym is cool. The gyms keep getting better and better. You can't progress until you beat them, too. You can't avoid these encounters. Man, this gym is so cool. The higher defense, the more reckless I can be in attack. I guess that's true. I don't rely on defense too much, though. I'm fully offensive. Cool trainer Alexia would like to battle. They sent out a Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff is normal and fairy. And I think they have psychic moves. Normal and fairy. Fighting is strong against normal. Dark is strong against psychic. You know what? I'll send a Magikarp. Oh yeah, and Magikarp lowers their attack. Oh, if they're just gonna do defense scroll this entire time, they're not making it. Yep. What's that? What was that? Audio listeners, I was rolling my eyes. No! <laughs> Stop with the potions! Okay, I should save the rest of my dragon rage, so I'm just gonna tank and keep biting. Q-Charm attracted Magikarp. No! He's in love again! You two-timer. Come on. First Torkoal and now Wigglytuff? These aren't good time matchups for you, Magikarp. Oof. So lucky there wasn't another hit. You defeated cool trainer Alexia. Our defenses weren't enough. You got 1,248 Poké Dollars for winning. Oh no, I'm scared. I'm scared.
Yeah, I'm making sure everybody's fully healed before I continue on. My goodness. Door to the right? One hit KO room, the sign says. Do you want to go in? No! No! Strength room, the sign says. Do you want to go through? Okay, let me think about this. Should I go in the room that implies death? On a Nuzlocke? Or the strength room? I'm going strength room. Oh my god. I only have one Pokemon in my party who's immune to one hit kill moves, and that's Skarmory. But that's way too risky. Our gym leader told us to go all out and beat you. Even if you happen to be the leader's kid. What if they're trolling? You think they would lie? This is a gym. It's a refined establishment of the Pokemon community. Cool Trainer Joy would like to battle. They sent out a Zangoose. Zangus is normal slash dark, I think. Oh no, if it's dark, then confusion won't work. Zangus dark? I'm up nine levels. I'll try side beam. If it doesn't work, I'll use recover next turn. Oh, okay, he's not dark. He's just normal. Take the L. I'm way too strong. <laughs> Bruh grew to level 36. Bruh's trying to learn Psychic. Okay. Psychic. A powerful Psychic attack that may lower special defense. Yo. So it's like Psybeam. Oh, the only bad thing is that only has 10 PP. That's kind of... I should have two offensive moves then. Okay, Future Sight does 80, Psychic does 90. I'll swap it out for Future Sight. Future Sight, it was okay, but nah. To me, it does the same as just doing like a one turn attack. I'll swap it out for Future Sight. One, two, and Bra forgot Future Sight, and learn Psychic. Let's freaking go. You defeated Cool Trainer Jody. But I went all out. You got 1,248 Poké Dollars for winning. Okay. I'm gonna rearrange Bruh's moveset. Okay. I'm gonna make Magikarp the party leader, Blaziken number two. No, I should make Bra number two. Because I have a dark water dragon move and then psychic. I don't want to tank Blaziken too much, honestly. And then I'll, I'll move the Pokemon around depending on the type advantage. We continue on. Gym leader's room. See for yourself what Pokemon awaits you, the sign says. Do you want to go through? Oh no, I'm scared. I don't want to see my father. <laughs> okay, I'm going in. Hello, father. Hmm. So you did get four gym badges. Fine. As I promised, we will have a Pokemon battle. Peace in. I'm so happy that I can have a real battle with my own child. But a battle is a battle. I'll do everything in my power as the gym leader to win. Peace in. You better give it your best shot, too. Oh, no. Oh, he looks so cool with his receding hairline. Leader Norman would like to battle. He sent out a Spinda. Spinda is normal slash psychic. So, a dark move is powerful. Nope. Magikarp became confused. Oh, you know what? Dragon Rage. Don't hit yourself! Oh, thank god! What was that? Facade. Um, I'm gonna bite, because I'm hungry.
Magpapa is really good at getting out of confusion. Okay, Norman's dumb. Why does he keep using Teeter Dance? His Spindo is not listening. Yo, I'm not confused! Take the L. Spindo fainted. Your Pokemon gained 244 XP. Leader Norman is about to use Vigoroth. Is that the evolved form of Slackoth? Will I change Pokemon? Um. Let's see what I got. Bigger off. Normal. Skarmory has a normal type move, so that's not good. A it has a dark, normal, and grass type move. Saw has ground. You know what? I'll bring in Saw. I'll try Magnitude. I'm gonna try and get used to using my actual whole team this time. Magnitude. The level no Oof. Oof. Rock throw. Faint attack won't kill. You should have healed. Yo! Vigoroth fainted. Your Pokemon gained 364 XP and Sa grew to level 30. Let's go. A grew to level 28. Ayy. Leader Norman is about to use slacking. Uh, slacking is normal, and you put your Pokemon to sleep. I will- uh, should I change? I don't think any Pokemon's immune to sleep. Maybe A? A doesn't have a berry item, though. A doesn't have good offensive moves, but he does have recover. I'm using Brazil to cop out, though. <laughs> I'll bring an A. I'll try. I will try. This is A's first battle against the slacking. Astonish goes to fake out. Oh wait, fake out goes first! Should have looked at the, the types. Fake out is a first move. <laughs> that did so little. Okay, but that he caused him to flinch. So I, I have another free turn basically. Absorb fury swipes is normal. Astonish is ghost. I'll try astonish. Slacking is loafing around. Astonish doesn't work. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Um, okay, maybe A is not it. We'll try Skarmory. That wasn't very effective.
Slacking is loafing around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I guess this lacking is really strong. <laughs> Screw it. Bra's going on. Screw it. Okay, okay. Slacking citrus berry restored health. Slacking special defense fell. Facade was a dark type move. I forgot. Oh no. I wanted to take Cadaver to the end. Leader Norman is about to use Linoon. Will I change Pokemon? No. You defeated Leader Norman. <laughs> I can't. I can't believe it, Peason. I lost to Peason. But rules are rules. Here, take this. You got 3,100 Poké Dollars for winning! You received the Balance Badge from Dad. With that badge, the defense of all your Pokémon will increase. Pokémon that know the HM move Surf will be able to travel over water. This is my gift to you, Peason. I'm sure you can use it correctly. You obtained the TM-42. TM42 contains Facade. It doubles the power of moves if the Pokemon is poisoned, paralyzed, or burned. Oh, okay. It might be able to turn a bad situation into an advantage. As the gym leader, I can't express how upset I am, but as a father, it makes me both happy and a little sad. It's odd. <gasps> ah, there you are, Peason. Please come with me. I have something I want you to have. Norman, you don't mind, do you? Let me borrow your piece in for a minute or two. Peason, please excuse us for dragging you here this way, but our Wally's become very healthy since you went to Verdine Turf Town. We owe it all to you. When Wally left town, you helped him catch a Pokemon, right? I think that made Wally really happy. Actually, not just Wally. It made me, his father, happy too. Happy that he's gained such a great friend, such as you. This isn't a bribe or anything, but I'd like you to have this. You obtained the HM03. If your Pokemon can surf, you'll be able to go to all sorts of places. Thank you, sir. Man, I'm not, like, happy. I'm glad I beat Norman. But I lost... I lost, bruh. That's so bad. I should have taken note that Facade was a dark move. 
I cannot believe it took me out entirely, though. And bro was overleveled as well. Man. You know what we gotta do. Sad to see Cadaver not evolve. I know. I'll never see the final evolution, whatever he's called. Alagazam or whatever. Alagazam, Cadaver's gone now. But hi, heart. Can we get some yos? Hello. Okay, you know the ritual. We have to heal everybody first, and then we let them go. We don't want to let them in the wild dying. Kadabra with an Oran Berry in hand, level 36. Got one hit KO'd by Slacking's Facade. I failed to realize it was a dark type move. Everybody, PSI27, bruh. They've been us they've been with us since barely or they've been with us since basically the, the beginning when I caught the Abra by luck. Sheer luck. They've tanked a lot of fights. Honestly, I really wanted to take Kadabra to the end because I think he was the most versatile for my playstyle, fully offensive. He also had recover. Oh man, this sucks. Maybe we'll find. No, we're not gonna find a Kadabra in the wild. Brub was released. Man, that really sucks. You know what? It's been forever. But I had to release another Pokemon today. Pokemon released on this attempt six. Man. This feels worse than losing Mary. Like, I'm not, like, visibly or as emotional, but I really wanted Bra in the final six. Yeah, I still have Curlia, but Curlia's attack isn't as strong, and I, I, I know Curlia evolves. I don't know what the moveset is past. Oh, wait, I should actually get Curlia now so I can see. But Curlia only has one offensive move. But I assume once I level up Curlia more, then they'll gain probably the save mood set that Kadabra had. Yeah, let's see. Curlia right now has Confusion, Calm Mind, Psychic, and Teleport. Oh yeah, Kadabra had Psychic, they had Confusion, but then they also got a different offensive move. Man. Okay. It's honestly really lucky that I got Abra and Routes really early on in the run. Because honestly, the Psychic types have been hard carrying. But it's fine that I still have Curlia. That's why, like, it's good that I'm only bringing one of every type into the gyms. That way, if I do lose it, I always have backups. Okay. Well... Guys, a dramatic finale to day 10 of the peace lock. My heart is not okay. Okay, to review. Let me pause the timer. Wait, I should save my game. I did not save it all today. Oh my god. Okay, the game has been saved. Let me stop my timer. Man, actually speedrunning. Five hour peace log stream? Insane. Okay, to review. Peace log day 10. We leveled up my party to get everybody to level 27. I try to have as versatile of a, as I tried to have as versatile as a team I could have for the Norman Gym. And it kind of pulled off. I did not just rely on Blaziken or Kadabra. I'm improving. But at the end of the fight, I did lose Bruh. Which, it feels worse than losing Mary in the second gym. 
it definitely feels worse. Because out of my whole party, Blaziken is the GOAT, but I think Kadabra was my favorite. I love offensive builds. I love strength builds. But you know what? Curlia will now take Bra's place. I also caught... I got four new Pokemon today. All in all, a good day. Only five hours? Actually speedrunning. So guys, that was Peace Lock Day 10. When we pick up, I don't know what we're gonna do. But now I can surf! Wait, I have to teach a Pokemon how to surf. I don't have a Pikachu, what am I gonna do? That was day 10. Shit. Man, I lost bro. I have to mark him off on my list now. Shit. It's been like four days in the run since I've lost a Pokemon too. Oh man. Yeah, bro was my 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Wait, bro was my 17th Pokemon? That's my favorite number! I'll be honest. I know I used my one revive on this run for... for Blaziken. But if I somehow get Blaziken alive... I would have revived, bruh. That's how much I loved him. Man. Okay, guys, let's wrap it up here for today. Good stream. I streamed on Easter, even though I said I wasn't. What I'm, What happened while I was gone? You don't want to know. You don't want to know. Bruh died. He got one hit KO'd. It's so stupid. <laughs> just close your eyes and you'll never know. Yeah, just close your eyes and rest of the peace lot, guys. Man. Okay, I'm writing down my live split timer for next time. Guys, while I'm setting up the calligraphy camera... Wait, does anybody want their name written? Use your channel points now. Use them now. While I'm getting the camera set up, if you could, click the pin chat. I will be going live tomorrow for a very serious stream. And I need you guys to ask me questions about how to be a streamer. So, if you could, click the link, submit a reply to that Twitter post. I would appreciate it. Because I'm... I'm really sad right now, and the only thing that'll make me happy is if you guys reply to that tweet, okay? I'm being serious. I'm being serious. I'm like, I'm not okay. I, lo I lost, bruh. Que horrible. Let's do happy cooking music. Man, I'm... So I did not think that would KO me. Like, I thought I could tank, too. <clears throat> well. Also, it is the last day of March. So, Oilers. If you gifted five subs, you get a sketch card. And if you want a sketch card today, gift subs. So thank you guys for redeeming. Thank you, thank you. Guys, reply to this tweet. It'll make me happy. I'm so upset. Holy fuck. You lost, bro. You lost a homie today. This is why I hate Pokemon. Why did I play like a Nuzlocke for my first ever Pokemon game? Somebody asked that. And now I agree with that guy. Why did I do it? Why did I do it? Okay, this music isn't happy. I'm not feeling happy. Gimme... Give gimme... Give gimme... Give <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, we party. I love we party. No, guys, I promise I'm fine. I'm trolling. But, like, genuinely, losing Kadabra is so fucking bad. That was, like, my only chance of winning. Okay, it's really loud. Sorry. It's Easter Sunday. It's supposed to be a happy day. Oh, I almost showed feet. Just kidding. Imagine. Do, 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 do. Yeah, don't- now don't you have to train up somebody new? Yeah, I have to get Curlia back up to speed. Shit. That's so bad! Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do! It'll be fun. I think the reason why this loss felt worse than Mary is because when we lost Mary, like, that was a sacrifice. I went into that fight having to sacrifice Mary. But getting one hit KO'd, I know it's so fun to do, but to receive it... That's why typing matters, even though I'm better at remembering them as well. Well, I didn't know! I forgot! I forgot that it was a dark move. But you're right, I should have paid more attention. The rainbow looks so good on camera. I'm gonna end stream and I'm gonna cry. So for the next gym in Fortree, the gym leader is 29 to 33, so we won't have to level up as much. We'll just have to know what the gym type is. Oh, plan is simple. Tomorrow, April full stream. I mean, serious stream. Reply to the tweet now. Do it now. Or if your Twitter's not public, just DM me. And then uh, Tuesday, probably peace lock. Wednesday, peace lock. Tomorrow's stream on Monday will be at 10 a.m. It's early. Because I got things I gotta do tomorrow. I gotta do some pranks. Just kidding, I would never do pranks. Yeah, it'll be an early stream. Cause you know, gotta get on that early Sigma grind set. I have early band rehearsal? Shit. Don't worry. Wait. You got school on April Fools? You should do a prank. VODs will always be up, unless it's a sub only. Okay, that too is horrible. Ignore it, ignore it. My teacher better not be joking. Yeah, what if it what if it was an April Fool's prank? Would you be mad? Okay, somebody redeemed white. Plot twist, Electra. I do actually have a clear pen. I don't think it'll show up. Oh, like, you can kind of see it because, like, it's wet, but it dries quickly. 
This clear pen is meant for like color blending, but I don't blend much. Because then it makes the actual pen, the blender, icky. There you go, Electra. Teehee. Oh, but you can kind of see it on this angle. Okay, this is our final name of the day. If you want me to write your name, all you must do is use your channel points. Why did you, why did two people redeem brown? Brown is literally the ugliest color. It's like poop. Trying to be like dirt. Maybe. Okay, guys, I'm done. I'm done. Wait, I have to run an ad. I'll do it when I end stream. Guys, another day of the Peace Lock 2024. I thought I'd end happy, but I'm not happy. I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you your stream. 10 a.m. PST. Make sure if you haven't already, submit your stream advice questions to my Twitter post or you can DM me. I need, guys, I need you guys to ask questions. I need it. Imagine getting one reply. That's cringe. <laughs> I also made a post on YouTube and Instagram. But reply to the tweet. Okay. The plan is simple. April 1st, series stream tomorrow at 10 a.m. PST. Wednesday, peace lock. I mean, sorry, Tuesday, peace lock. Wednesday, peace lock. Thursday, maybe stream. Friday, follow original calligraphy, portrait sketch cards, and then sub only stream. So if you gifted five subs this month. So, Colbobo, Vicantant, Alex, and Keelan. If you guys want a sketch card, DM me a picture on Twitter by Wednesday. Wednesday. That's the plan for this week. Once again, Another great month of peace and streams, March 31st. This month, I streamed almost, or I streamed over 100 hours, which is insane. Um, peace luck kind of is the really good, but also really bad. <laughs> but it's been really fun so far. 67 hours in. That's like more than a full-time, like, job, guys. And people say streaming isn't a real job. Anyway. March was a great month. Really fun month for Peace Lock. I thought... Okay, I genuinely thought I would beat it by the end of the month. Whatever. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Once again, thank you to everybody who helped support the channel this month. All the tier ones. Thank you guys. Prime subs. We had Kobobo with 23 gifted. Vicantin with 9 gifted. Alex Though CX with 7 gifted. 
Keelan with six gifted, Mother Electro with three gifted, Natural Crybaby or Natty with one gifted, and Mac with one gifted. For bits, we got a lot of bits this month. We had 1,800 bits from Vicantant, 100 bits from Wolves, and 100 bits from Keelan. Thank you guys for helping support the stream April. That means I can buy things for a stream for my birthday stream. Let's go! Guys, April's gonna be a good month. What's the plan for April? Beating Peace Luck, of course. I have a few just chatting stream plans, and then my birthday stream. We'll talk about what I'm gonna do for my birthday stream maybe next week. Like, not this week, but next week. That way we can, like, plan together what we want to do. Because it will be a 12-hour stream. Wednesday the 24th. My third birthday with chat. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Any chatter slickers? I know it's a holiday today. I don't think any of you guys said you celebrated Easter, but thanks for spending it with me. I will see you guys tomorrow in the morning for a very serious stream. And I didn't lie, I actually had a blanket. Please don't let Sad die. I'll try my best. I will try my best. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, Drew. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Man, I'm... I'm... Like, I lost, bro. Oh, what am I gonna do? Oh, it's so bad. Guys, reply to my tweet. I- what? The tweet is, give- ask for streamer advice. Yo! Thank you, Gobobo! Wait. <laughs> I don't like coffee. <laughs> Go, Bobo, look at the reply. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you celebrate Easter. Hope you had a good holiday. If you don't, just steal the eggs from the kids. <laughs>